Muy buenas youtuberos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Estamos aquí en el Naruto Storm 4 Antes de empezar quería comentaros una cosa acerca del vídeo anterior el, el capítulo 3 creo que fue, el de Kakashi Yobito, ¿de acuerdo? Uh, hubo un problema eh, con la capturadora y el gameplay se ve... El, el gameplay, digo, el, cuando... El, el combate, mientras yo estoy jugando Eso se veía con muchísimo lag Y yo no me di cuenta porque yo una vez subo el vídeo a Youtube Yo no lo vuelvo a ver Entonces me lo dijo una persona, el Ramón creo que fue Un usuario, me dijo um, Oye Adri, se ve con mucho lag el capítulo Y lo miré y es cierto, se veía con muchísimo lag Es una cosa que me da mucha rabia porque yo soy muy escrupuloso con la calidad de mis vídeos, porque aunque no tengas muchos suscriptores ni mucha audiencia, da igual, da igual, a mí me gusta hacer esto, y yo intento hacerlo bien. Si vosotros queréis, la gente que me ve más asiduamente mis vídeos, yo voy a tener en cuenta vuestra opinión, si queréis que vuelva a subir ese capítulo, yo lo haré, hago el esfuerzo, no me importa, lo vuelvo a hacer, para que se vea bien. Eh, fue un día que le di a la capturadora por fallar, porque también me jodió un poquito el principio del de las tofas, me di cuenta luego cuando eh, me puse a editar el vídeo, y, y nada, es un día pues que le doy a la capturadora por tocarme los cojones. Ahora acabo de comprobarlo, antes de ponerme a grabar esto, en principio ahora va bien la capturadora, ¿de acuerdo? Esto tiene que salir bien. Eh, ¿Por qué no me di cuenta yo de que se grabó mal? Porque yo edito mis vídeos. El problema es que yo en el editor de vídeo se ve bastante peor que cuando terminas de, re de renderizar el vídeo. En el, en el editor va como un poquito más lagueado también, me va más lento, no, no es tan fluido porque está trabajando el ordenador, haciendo unas cosas y va más lento. Eh, cuando renderizo el vídeo ya se ve de puta madre y tengo la costumbre de que cuando ya está renderizado lo pongo a subir y fuera. Entonces no me di cuenta, ¿vale? Lo siento mucho. Sé que frustra mucho ver un, un vídeo así y, y yo pues ya, ya os he dicho que a mí me gusta hacer las cosas bien. Así que bueno, de momento vamos a grabar este capítulo, el nuevo. Eh, vamos a hacer primero la parte esta de aquí abajo, ¿vale? Porque el capítulo anterior hicimos este y este, no mentira, este y este, ¿vale? El primero fue este y este, luego este y este y ahora en vez de, ir, de seguir aquí por el camino de, de arriba, vamos a hacer este y el de abajo, ¿vale? Los dos, cap los dos combatitos de abajo. Bueno, me he enrollado dos minutos y medio. Bueno, ya pondré una etiquetita. El, el gameplay empieza ya en este minuto. Venga, espero que vaya bien, ¿eh? Si va mal, ya os digo que, que esto no lo aborto, aborto la misión y... Y empezamos... Ya lo grabaré yo aparte, coño, ya no sé ni qué decir. Venga, vamos a darle. Aparece el Hokage. Venga. Wow. Who knew there was all this going on under the leaf shrine? Now, let's begin. <clears throat> Reaper Death Seal, release! This mask is necessary in order to use the jutsu written in that scroll. Using this calls out the Reaper, which then possesses the user. Then we can release the things that were sealed by the Reaper. Jugo! Sasuke! Suiketsu! Get ready! Now, Jugo, use your chakra to make the extraction from Sasuke. That should draw out the spores of the Zetsu that Toby set as Sasuke's watchdog. They'll serve as the sacrifices to summon the Four. Reanimation Jutsu! Come now. Come. The ones who know everything. The former Hokage. Oh, the, the first Hokage. Hashirama Senju, feared as the god of all ninja in the flesh. What's going on here? The Reaper Death Seal. They must have released it somehow. 
and then used reanimation. Looks like we've been brought back to life, First Hokage. Reanimation again? Everyone seems to have no trouble using the jutsu I invented. There's a reason for this. I simply prepared all this to grant his wishes. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have some questions for you, Hokage. What? Sasuke? First of all, third, why did you make my brother do what he did? I see. So you know. I still want to hear it from your mouth. Everything about Itachi. He killed his fellow clan members and stopped a coup. The man single-handedly prevented a war. He even installed himself in the Akatsuki as a spy after that, to keep the village safe. All under the condition that I protect you, his younger brother. So it was really true. Now, first, I ask you. What is the village? What does it mean to be a ninja? Itachi, my brother, was prepared to protect the Hidden Leaf with his life, despite knowing he'd been used by the village. And he was proud to be a shinobi of the Leaf. What does it mean to give up your own life to protect a village? And what about the ninja that creates such a situation, and believe that it's okay? I want to hear it from you. I want to hear the truth, so I can decide for myself. Should I take revenge on the village, or...? Revenge on the village? <clears throat> you think I'm just going to let you...? Tobirama! Lower your hand. Fine. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well, you want to know about the village, you say? I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know, but it might take some time. No. Please just tell the boy what he wants to know as quickly as possible. What do you mean? We're in the middle of a war here. Madara Uchiha has come back to life, and is trying to destroy every last ninja in the world. <gasps> yes, I can sense a powerful chakra presence at two o'clock. The second Hokage is right. I'm picking up some intense chakra too. But it's not just that. No, I think... Ah, this feeling. Naruto, you're fighting too, aren't you? If Madara's back, talking will have to wait. We can't afford to sit around here and do nothing. I'm sorry, but if you want to head to the battlefield, I must insist we finish our conversation first. If you can't provide Sasuke with the answers he desires, I wouldn't put it past him to use you all to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Damn you, Orochimaru! Don't worry, Orochimaru. We understand. Our first priority should be finding a way to ease up what's binding him. So, where should I begin? Well, in order to explain what a village and a ninja are, I must first explain about the two clans, the Uchiha and the Senju. We fought and fought. Both of us were at the very end of our ropes. And we both knew the end had to be in sight for one of us. Mother 
Buah, no guapo, tío, que está esto. Otra vez este combate, no, tío, qué pesados. Aunque no sé qué me impresiona, si ya había visto en la cinemática que salían estos dos. Bueno, por lo menos nos van a contar la historia. Que a algunos de vosotros ya estaréis hasta la polla de escucharla, pero a mí me viene bien. También para entenderlo todo bien. Por lo visto, el primer Hokage era el más pepino de todos. ¿eh? Y yo que pensaba que sería el cuarto. Y el segundo tiene pinta de ser el bestiajo. Ah, por cierto, Ramón, tú que me decías que no usaba más combos, pues mira, toma. Ala, ahí tienes. Combos, combos por todas partes. <ríe> También es verdad que este juego no tiene tantos combos como otros juegos de combate Pero... mejor Porque hay, hay algunos que es que te... ¡Ah, la epilepsia! <risa> Tampoco uso los objetos porque mira, me da un poquito de... de igual Bueno, vamos a acabar rápido con esto Que como no me dejan utilizar el... El finisher uh, Casi te doy <coughs> Ven pa' aquí, papito Ven Sé que quieres Y tú sabes que yo sé Que tú sabes que quiero Que tú caerás Vamos Mira, a ver si me sale el ataque este Ahora Ish. Como te pille y, y, Como te pille La verdad te voy a convertir En comida de raíces En pienso En, en abono, te voy a convertir en abono Mira uh, Se los esquiva siempre, tío, qué pesado Ahora, ahora Tengo que darle ahora Ah Es que le quiero matar con el árbol. <risa> A por cola. It's over, Madara. Then finish me. Can't do it. That is your problem, Hashirama. You're soft. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect our... No, to protect my village, no matter what happens. I believe that protecting the village means protecting the people of the Hidden Leaf. The ninja, the children. I don't care who it is. My friend, my brother, or my own child. I won't forgive anyone who threatens it. You have your priorities mixed up. That will create darkness in the village. Someday. That's when I found my resolve. My resolve to protect the village to the bitter end. I don't know how he resurrected himself now, but I buried my friend for good that day, for the sake of the village. Which brings me to the village itself. What Madara and I envisioned at first was a place for clans to come together and connect a way to bring order out of chaos and keep it that way. It was a place where our children could be safe, where no pointless battles were fought, a place of peace. But the fact is, it created a darkness like the one that your brother Itachi bore. 
Perhaps Madara was right. Perhaps he saw all that coming. I'm the one who created that situation. I'm the only one who gave it the okay. You see, to me, a ninja is someone who bears anything necessary to achieve his goal. However, a ninja is also shaped by what sort of goal he strives for. Just like Madara and I. A ninja is someone who bears whatever it takes to reach his goal. That's what I built the village on. But Madara had a different ideal. I don't know about Madara's current resurrection. I don't know what's behind this idea of his to wipe out the world's ninja, but... Infinite Tsukuyomi. Regardless of clan, creed, country, or anything, he wants to trap everyone in a genjutsu so he can make things happen exactly as he desires. Everything my brother and you fought so hard to protect, he wants to destroy it all. Then we can't afford to stay here a moment longer. Now that you've heard the first Tokage's explanation, what do you intend to do with it? Will you turn your blade toward the hidden leaf? Or... Sasuke, forgive me. I always lied to you. I asked you to forgive me, even as I kept pushing you away. I didn't want to pull you in. But now I think of it this way. Maybe you could have changed father, mother, the Uchiha clan, if I'd faced you honestly from the very beginning. If we'd told each other the truth as equals. I failed. I won't put myself above you and tell you this and that. It's too late. So this time for once, let me tell you one small truth. It's all right if you never forgive me. But, no matter what you become, I will always love you. I'm going into battle. The village, Itachi. I won't let it all be in vain. Well said. Come then, there's no time to lose. So, that's the path you've chosen. Now, show me what you're capable of. Sasuke Uchiha. Your new win. Guapo, tío. <risa> Tengo ganas de saber qué pasa ahora con esto. A ver, puedo jugar el camino de la separación. Hasta el campo de batalla. Me ha salido una especie de comentario en el que me ponía. Hay misiones secundarias. O sea, que esta de aquí abajo, esta ramificación que hay, es una misión secundaria. Realmente debería seguir por aquí para ver qué cosa guapa pasa. Y por lo visto, me da a mí que esa es la melena de Orochimaru. ¿Os imagináis que.? Vosotros ya lo sabréis algunos, pero yo no lo sé, a lo mejor, imaginaros que Orochimaru se vuelve bueno ahora, de repente, porque sí, no, no creo. Me da a mí que esas que... ese es Orochimaru, me parece, se pelearán, y algo así. El video ya dura 20 minutos, voy a parar aquí, y voy a dejarlo así como un capítulo rollo especial de esas que, que sepa ahí la verdad y tal. Do you remember what we talked about here when we were kids? Yes. Although at the time, I really thought you were joking. 
so cold. I'm not the kind of man who makes a joke about something like that. <laughs> you really were a strange one, though. What was it now? A school for the children? A safe village for your brothers? Hmm. I remember thinking that you had some pretty grand plans for a little kid. Oh? But they weren't bad dreams. They were the same as mine. Which is why I am here with you today. Yes. The Hidden Leaf Village. This village has become precious to me, and I must protect it. <laughs> so, have you thought about my Hokage idea some more? What? You were being serious about that. I thought you were just pulling my leg. What? No, I was being deadly serious. You would be perfect for the position. You'll be the leader of the village and guide everyone forward. And we'll carve a model of your face in the cliff here as an emblem of the village. Hey, I never agreed to that. It's not my style. It's not up to you. The more embarrassed you are, the better. You're just trying to torture me here, aren't you? <laughs> Very smart. It is a fine outfit. Well, it was supposed to be yours. I still think you'd make a better Hokage than I will. Well, it was a democratic decision. The villagers chose you. You are the Hokage. Madara. This stone. This stone has been passed down through generations of the Uchiha clan. It can be deciphered only by those with special eye abilities. This is as much as I can read so far. Seeking stability, there was a god who split into two halves, light and dark. Bringing the two halves together again grants the user the power of all creation. In other words, Bringing two opposing forces together as one will lead to true happiness. But you can take it another way, too. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. There is no point in talking to you about it now. What do you mean? Hashirama? I am leaving the village. We are history. Huh? Why? I do not have any allies here. No one looks up to me. But I can't do this without you. I need you as my right-hand man, as a brother. The people will soon come to see you for what you are. And when they do, you can be the second Hokage. I should think Tobirama will be your successor. If that happens, my clan will be doomed. I have tried to warn the other Uchiha of the danger and get them to leave the village. Save your breath. I am leaving. I have found another way. Wait! They're just misunderstanding you! Let us just say it comes down to how you perceive reality. Anyway... Enough with the groveling. It is far healthier to see this world as a playground. Hey, are you listening to me? You are the only one who can stand up to me. Mother! Until I reach the path to my true dream. Ugh! I shall enjoy fighting with you. What is your true dream? Why wouldn't you explain it to me?
Lord Hokage! What is it? It's... it's Madara Uchiha! He's coming! What? Really? He's come back? He's attacking the village! He wiped out the vanguard unit. We sent a second and third, but we've had reports of heavy casualties. We're working on evacuating the villagers. We just can't stop Madara's advance. What are we going to do? Hokage! What's the meaning of this? Why would... Madara, we built this place together, you and me. Why would you? It doesn't make sense. I can't understand you anymore. I can't... understand. Ambitions and machinations swirled in the dark night. Had the emotions of yesterday already run dry? Was despair the only thing that awaited? With unspeakable pain in his heart, Hashirama Senju challenged his friend. Believing that in this deep abyss, there was one last sliver of hope. Vale. Ahora sí, solo era cinemática. Así que cuando hagamos este capítulo, que lo vemos en el próximo eh, capítulo, eh, lo de arriba también será solo una cinemática. Vale. Eh, todo lo que no pude entender de este primer capítulo que hicimos, que era el combate del pasado, Hashirama contra Madara, pues lo he terminado de entender aquí y ahora. Esto es todo el pasado, todo por qué pasó. Lo que pasa es que... Eh, tiene muy poco sentido común, Madara. Eh, no, no, no. ¿Por, ¿Por qué pasa así de repente de... Creamos la villa, somos super amigos, muy fieles y todo es de color de rosas. Y de repente, porque un día la gente, el poblado, decide por democracia eh, elegir a uno de los dos, él le dan celos o dice no me admiran o lo que sea y decide irse. O sea, no, eso creo que han, lo han hecho tan rápido. Es como si hubieran muchos capítulos de relleno en la serie, ¿no? Y, y aquí, como no hay relleno, pues han ido a saco y ha quedado como muy de pegote. Pero... Da la sensación como que es muy arrogante Madara, ¿no? Pero, pero, es que no, claro, no, no me ha quedado muy... No me, no me ha molado porque es como al principio Hashirama le dice Tú tendrías que ser Hokage y él dice Ah, pensaba que lo decías de broma, ¿no? Es como que... Venga, va, no, no me chupes... Hablando mal, no me... No, no me... Alabes tanto, ¿no? Vamos a hacerlo entre los dos Y luego como eligen al otro Ah, pues ahora me enfado, ¿eh? Como no me han elegido a mí, ahora me enfado ¿Realmente es así un Uchiha? ¿No? ¿Tan, tan cabrones son? Pues... En fin, es, es un poco... Esa es mi reflexión, ¿vale? Como que ha quedado un poquito así, un poco... Eh, no sé, ha, ha, ido, ha ido muy muy a saco la cosa. Pero bueno, uh, finalmente, eh, con el poco sentido común que le ha dado ahí eh, Madara, pues se van a pelear. Y en este capítulo continuaremos lo que hemos dejado aquí, la decisión de Sasuke. Espero que os haya gustado este capítulo, espero que se vea de puta madre bien, ¿eh? que no me haya dado problemas a la capturadora, y nos veremos en el siguiente capítulo. Cuidaros. Chao.